Why hello, good folks of YouTube, and welcome back to another slog! Yes, I get to do another one of these! They're very fun, I like doing slogs. It just gives me a moment to sit down, talk, discuss, do whatever I feel like. And do you know what? Do you know what is about to happen? We're about to head into E3, boys and girls of the internet. And in that... Um, in that remark, I want to talk about my predictions for E3, Nintendo's E3 to be exact. Yes, I know I'm probably setting myself up for a miserable, a miserable life for failure to be disappointed. But hey, the fun thing is thinking about all the things that could be and accepting the things that comes your way. Because I believe that just when they're gonna show Smash and Pokemon, which they are, you know it. They're gonna make everyone happy. These are just some of the things that I would like to get the cherry on the top. Like, like just pop it up and they're beautiful. So, the thing I think we are going to see in no particular order, okay, perhaps a little bit, because I'm gonna go over the obvious stuff first and then go for like my wish lists afterwards. So, we are going to get a lot of Smash. We're gonna get trailer, we're gonna get a couple of character reveals. I hope we're not gonna get too many because I don't like getting all the characters. I wanna be like, okay, they've shown us five new characters and some re reoccurring. Now, just let me buy the game and unlock the rest. Give me something to unlock. Give me something to work again, work towards. So I go in and I can see those question mark dots on the character selection screen. You know, like you had back in the days, like double dash and melee and stuff like that. You had those question marks that said, like, you you can get something here. And I don't mean like the random one. I mean like you can actually get a character here, a new one that you don't know yet. That makes it so much fun. Brawl did it excellent with the subspace emissary. I would like more of that. I would like a story mode in Smash. Hopefully they say something about that. And um, moving on, perhaps tying into Smash, I think Nintendo has made a deal with Sony. I believe we are going to get either Spyro or Crash in that game. Yes, I don't. I know that would mean that they are in a Nintendo game fighting game before they are in a Sega. It's Sega, Sony one, because they weren't in All Stars, but it's Nintendo. Sm Smash is better than All Stars, all right, all right. But yeah, t like I said, tying into that, we are going to see Spyro. We are going to see that Spyro remake trilogy. I don't know the name of it, but we are going to see it. That is a certain thing that's going to happen, and I'm looking forward to it. I never played it. Sp the old Spyro games, I played like some of the newer one, Cataclyst or whatever it's called, on the Wii. I enjoy that a bit, but I think I'm gonna love the originals. I'm gonna love Crash Bandicoot when it hits our screen very soon. Um, then we are going to get some of the Mario Tennis Aces or whatever it was called. Um, this is, like I said, unscripted, so I don't know the names. I just doodled down some things in uh, Notepad. But yeah, we're going to get Mario Tennis, and I think, I hope, it's just going to be like short, like the deal for Arms and Splatoon, it's just going to be, okay, here's uh, here's uh, something new you haven't seen before, let's move on. So, let's move on. Uh, what more is a given? There, I think they're going to show... Um, they're going to show that Monster Hunter game that they said they are going to localize for the Western audience. I heard they were going to do that. And I think they are going to show like a trailer to get to get people hyped for that. Because I know I am. I want that game and I think they're going to hype it up a little bit by a quick trailer. I know it's been out in Japan for some while but now, you know, just a quick trailer to get the Western audience hyped for that. Then we're going to see some more Splatoon support. Uh, Perhaps uh, weapons, new maps, stuff like that, because you know they want to show show off that. Then we are going to get a Pokemon trailer. That much I think, because 
There have been some rumors and talk about it coming out this year, which I would hope, giving us a giving a, giving us a holiday release of Pokemon, or perhaps Pokemon in, in October and smashing the holidays or vice versa. I know something like that. That would be awesome. But yeah, we're gonna see a Pokemon trailer. We're gonna see where it's uh, where it's supposed to be. Uh, we are going to see uh, where the starters, some of the new Pokemons, perhaps even the bad guys. But that would probably come in a later time. I'm I'm hoping for Scandinavian region. I've seen a video about it recently. I can link you to that. But that video, that that was phenomenal, and I I really hope we're going to see something like that because Scandinavia is a beautiful place. Um, and speaking of trailers. We are going to see a Metro Prime 4 trailer, nothing gameplay related, just a trailer because I do not believe Metro Prime 4 will come out this year. But yeah, we're going to see something more about that. But what I hope they announce is a Metro Prime trilogy remaster or whatever you want to call it. I believe it came out for the Wii and now I want it on the Switch because I've never played the Prime games and to get me hyped for Prime 4. Nothing will be better than to play through the free original games, you know, to get the gist of it. Just, I hoping that will come out soon. Like it will be like what, well, like the Mario Rabbit situation that they announced, and it and it comes out in August. They've been working on it for a while. I hope that's the case here, so we can get Metro Prime trilogy out there with a Metro Prime Four trailer. Uh, and where's Yoshi? Where is Joe Yoshi? Yoshi, Yoshi, the the green dotted dinosaur that is now made of yarn, if I remember correctly, or is that another game? I think it might have been another game. I'm not sure. I don't remember the trailers. It's been a while since I watched it. You see, you see, I I I don't even remember this. I I I know it looked uh, cool, like a family friendly. I hope it is a bit harder than Kirby though. I'm not, I'm, all, I'm all for easy games, but Kirby was a bit. Eh. But uh, Yoshi is something I really want. And I hope we're going to see it. Finally get the release date. Hopefully sometime soon. And I will be a happy man. And speaking of things we haven't heard about in a while. Fire Emblem? Wasn't that announced in February or something last year? Like right before the Switch got uh, released. Didn't they announce a Fire Emblem game? With some teaser. Are we going to see some of that? Please? I never play Fire Emblem, but I want to on the Switch because I want every game in existence on the Switch. So yeah, hopefully that. Hopefully we're gonna see some Yoshi release date. Hopefully some Fire Emblem release date. And it is inevitable. We're going to see some uh, 3DS stuff. Uh, Luigi's Mansion remake. That uh, Bowser Inside Story. That Armadillo game. Dill. And perhaps some, and perhaps something new because they aren't, they aren't letting the 3DS die yet. They should, but they are not. Um, and uh, Cineblade Chronicles DLCs are probably coming up. The, uh, I think it's announced that there's going to be a story DLC, so we're probably gonna see something about that one. And tying into that, I would really like to see a Cineblade Chronicles, the first one remastered. I want to play that on the go. I've never been able to finish that game. I have it on the Wii U from the Virtual Console. But I just want to finish it. But I haven't got the time to sit down much with my hectic school time. So I want to be able to sit down in my bed before I'm going to go to sleep. And play some goddamn Xenoblade Chronicles. Please man. Please just give it to me. I want it. That probably sounded really weird. Sorry guys. But yeah, Cinebike Chronicles Remastered, that is something I want. And hopefully they're going to run some of the Nindies that's coming. Undertale release date. Uh, Little Nightmare release date. Uh, just just let me jump quickly in here. Post editing or during editing, I guess. To say that, my bad, Little Nightmares is out right now. They don't, they are not going to talk about that at E3. Sorry. West of Loafing release day, please, I need it. It's such a phenomenal game. And perhaps something uh, new as well, some 
some pretty badass scene in this. I would not. I would like for nothing more. Uh, they're probably gonna showcase talk about the online service. Oh, sorry. They're gonna talk about the online service, I believe, and talk about. I think they need to address that situation with the virtual console. Because I think we need some uh, some confirmation that it's either dead, so people can stop speculating about it, or saying that, hey, just hang on, the Nintendo Entertainment System classics, they're just temporary, we're gonna add more of them, we're gonna add the SNES, we're gonna add Nintendo 64, GameCube, Wii, perhaps make it like something like Xbox Game Pass, just for all the games. Because... With Nintendo's intense and awesome history of video games, having something like that available for you, that, that is a console seller in itself, to be able to play all your games, your favorite games for 20 bucks a year, all your favorite retro games for 20 bucks a year, that was Nintendo. Uh, for 20 bucks, I, I think everyone would go nuts over that and enjoy that so much. So hopefully, they're gonna say something like that, because if Game Pass, retro Game Pass for Nintendo Switch for 20 bucks? Well, they're mad, boy! They are just mad! Speaking of mad, I'm about to go into real juicy stuff. You know, this is the part... You know, this is the part where I go into, like, all the things that I think will not be there, but I will really, really hope to be there. Um... Oh, you know what? A, a Donkey Kong, new Donkey Kong game could be something. Retro Studio is that the publisher of the Donkey Kong games said something about uh, they're working on something, right? Right? They worked on the Tropical Freeze remake, so perhaps they were making the end, just making the engine for a new Donkey Kong Country game. Or that's, and I, I know this is not going to happen at all. But I was so much like a sequel to Donkey Kong 64. I I just like collector funds. Just give me just give me collector funds. I had in time announced I had in time for the Switch. I will buy it again. And when I get the money I'll buy Yoka Laylee as well. I know people said it's bad. Or some people said it's bad, but I want to be able to experience that myself. I want to feel Yoka Laylee. I because I, 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 I am such a fan of collector funds, you don't even know. And Odyssey DLC? Are we going to see it? Because I think I think they should capitalize more on Odyssey. Give us a couple of more worlds to explore, some moons. Give us do do hard ones. Like the final area, the darker side of the moon. Do it something like that. But just on a grander scale. Like do some throwbacks if you want. Delfino Plaza, a P uh, what one from Super Mario 64 can I do that's really iconic? Thwomp Fortress. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Nintendo 6. Nintendo, Super Mario 64 is not my really type of game that I played that much. I wasn't I wasn't a fan of controls or stuff like that. The world is beautiful, but like the controls, controls, is a bit too clunky for me. So I much rather play. Sunshine, but yeah, I think we're going to see. I hope we're going to see some Odyssey DLC. And now to the really juicy stuff. Like these are the things I will pop so loud for if we are going to see. If they do something like they did for Metroid Prime 4 last year, but with Luigi's Mansion. If they announce Luigi's Mansion 3, boy. You, you're, you're gonna blow my mind. And speaking of blowing my mind, if I hear <laughs> and see a flower on the screen, I am going to scream. Because if Pikmin 4 hits the Nintendo Switch in this or this year or 2019, oh my god, I, I'm, chi I'm shivering right now. I'm thinking about it. And to top it all off, my favorite franchise. Paper Mario and please go back to your roots. I, I would be happy for a thousand year door remake to be honest Just remake the good one if you want to or give us a new game in that style If I see cards 
if I see stickers, if I don't see companions, if I just see something that follows you around to talk, if I if I don't see like a Koopa following me or a Boo, a Gino, a Goomba, uh, a Luigi, a Wario, uh, a Chain Chomp, or something like that. Or if I, or if I, you can, you can show me two new, completely new species following Mario. Just let me know there are companions if you're going to show it, and I will be a happy man. I will be a happy man indeed. So that is my predictions. Some of them are pretty straightforward. Some of them are up in the air. Just whoa! If they show it, I don't think they are. I'll, I'll be happy. And to mention some quickfire ones that I wouldn't really care about, but I could show is Animal Crossing, some new Star Fox thing. Uh, oh, and speaking of third party support, they are probably going to show. Oh, yeah, that's Roller Coaster Tycoon shit. That was. They're planning on releasing the mobile game. Just what the fuck? Just no. Just stop it. But Beyond Good and Evil 2, if they show that. If they show more on that for the Nintendo and it's coming there, I'll be super happy. But yeah, that is uh, all. But just remember, you're probably not going to see anything of this other than Pokemon and Smash. And some of the other lesser things. But just don't expect Luigi's Mansion 3. Don't expect Pikmin 4. Don't expect Paper Mario. Just be happy if you get one of them. Or two and scream as loud as you fucking can if you get all three of them. Alright? Take care. Remember that I love you guys. Please do some YouTube stuff. Buh bye bye <laughs>